Hi students, today we're going to look at chapter 4, form 4, chapter 8, okay. This is part 1, in part 1 we look at uh, definitions of heat, temperature, thermal equilibrium and applications of thermal equilibrium. Okay, as we start, we can look at the first part, the definition for temperature. Temperature should be a degree of hotness or coldness. The common measuring instrument we use to measure temperature is thermometer. So as we measure like human body temperature, it shows 37 degrees Celsius. So it's showing the degree of hotness of human body. So temperature is the degree of hotness or even coldness of an object. Um, normally it is measured with common way like degree Celsius, but the SI unit is Kelvin. We use Kelvin and if you're looking at a beaker of water as you heat up beaker of water you place a thermometer inside and the temperature increases so that indicates that average kinetic energy of particles are increasing so increase in temperature also can be said as increase in average kinetic energy of particles the next definition is heat okay heat is actually a form of energy we always say heat is actually transfer of energy from a high temperature object to a low temperature object. So heat is transfer of energy from a high temperature object to a low temperature object. The unit for heat is joules and joules is actually a derived unit. It's joules. Thermal equilibrium. This is the one we are looking at. Thermal equilibrium is very simple actually. If you look at it here, when two objects with different temperatures are in thermal contact, Two objects with different temperature in thermal contact, we realize that the temperature when they are in thermal contact, the one object will be very high temperature, another one low temperature. So the heat energy will flow from a high temperature object to a low temperature object. And this process will continue until both of these objects reach the same temperature. So in thermal contact, heat energy will flow from a high temperature object to a low temperature object until both of these objects reach the same temperature when both of these objects reach the same temperature we realize that the heat flow between them is zero so that there's no heat flow between them so we see there's no net heat flow between them or the heat flow or the net heat flow is zero thermal equilibrium it is a phenomenon when two objects in thermal contact reach the same temperature uh, where do we use, where do we apply thermal equilibrium? It happens around us, like we bake a cake when we place the cake flour in the oven. As the temperature of the oven increases, the temperature of the flour also increases. And while baking, if you realize that the temperature of the cake and the oven will be equal, right? Because that's how the thermal equilibrium is achieved. Refrigerator, same thing. Now, the concept is very simple. As we, as we place object in the refrigerator, the objects will reach whatever we place in the refrigerator will reach the temperature inside the refrigerator at a certain time. We say it is in thermal equilibrium. And thermometer is used to measure temperature. Thermometer is placed under the tongue. And as you notice here, the bulk of the thermometer will have mercury. The mercury will absorb the heat energy and the uh, liquid thermometer will expand and once it reaches the thermal equilibrium it records the body of the temperature so the whole idea here thermometer shows the body of the object reach the same temperature and this is the idea of thermal equilibrium all right and this is the, an example of clinical thermometer clinical thermometer the range is 35 to 42 there will be one constriction which is called a red the purpose of this constriction is to prevent backflow of mercury immediately. So this is a clinical thermometer only used to measure human body temperature. Then this is the changes that objects, physical changes that objects will go through when there's a change in temperature. Right? Okay, we will continue in the second part.